at CrossFit Contest. Today we're talking about the, uh, the hinge. And when you look at the hinge, the hinge appears to be a, uh, a very powerful dominant movement, okay? My experience in training people how to use kettlebells and training how to generate force for, for martial arts and for kickboxing is that most people when they try to do a hinge, they're trying to throw their hips forward in the process of doing that hip hinge, but unfortunately they're not throwing their hips, they're, they're using their back instead. So what is the main motivator behind the hip hinge? With most people, and these are the people who have experienced back pain and are not successful with swings, they're very uncomfortable, is as opposed to driving with these big muscles of the legs and the hips, they're throwing their head back and their torso back and driving their hips. So how can, how can you, if you're working with someone, how can you demonstrate that to them in a manner that will allow them to self-correct? Okay, so here's how I do it, okay? So I'm gonna have Tab to sit back, Sit way back, keeps her head neutral and her spine to here. Okay, so she's looking over there. Now, so if, if Tabitha is hip dominant, I'm going to put my hand on top of her head. She's going to try to come up out of it, and it's going to stop her. Okay, what's going to happen is, because she's trying to pull her hips through, her back locks up. So down a little bit again one more time. She tries to pull her hips through, and she gets stuck. Literally gets stuck, and it jams her up right here. Okay, you wouldn't see that. So that's the problem. You're starting to do your hip hinge, and you're trying to throw your hips forward, but in the process of throwing your hips forward, you're trying to pull your back, back, pull your back, and that's not what the hip hinge is, okay? So instead, you want to focus on your hip hinge being initiated by the feet, driving the feet up off the ground, and finishing with the hips. Uh, this was made very, very prominent to, to me by Marty Gallagher. We were talking about deadlifting and squatting, and he said, you know, you really need to think about, you know, is a deadlift a deadlift, is a, is a hip hinge, is a, is a squat a hip hinge? Yeah, they both are but they're both initiated the same way, and this led me to this realization that a lot of people don't do this correctly because they don't understand the feet of the driver from the hip hinge. Okay, so once again, she's here, she sits way back, head stays neutral, she's looking over here. Now, this time, as opposed to trying to initiate her hips, she drives her feet down, and she pops right back up instead. Okay, one more time, sits back, boom, 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 good position, good neutral head. I'm putting my head on, hand on top of her head. She drives her feet and finishes with her hips. So as opposed to trying to initiate the hip hinge with the hips, she's using her feet instead, much more powerful. One more time, we'll show you the incorrect way and the correct way. Okay, once again, she sits back, head stays neutral, she initiates with her hip hips, and she gets jacked up, she gets stuck. And I'm, and I'm not holding down really hard, but enough to slow her down, okay? Sits back one more time, she's back, she's back, into here, she drives through her feet, and she pops right back up, okay? So once again, it's a much more direct line. You're not having to pull your head back and pull your push your head in, which is the common fault with a lot, of, a lot of people doing swings or cleans or snatches. You're just driving this right out of the ground. So I hope that helps you out. Uh, I like to create simple tools and simple testing methods that will allow you to make corrections on the fly. This is a very, I think, a very powerful one. And I think once your clients and your, and your, and your, your athletes feel this correction, they'll immediately understand that they're, they're moving from the wrong place. Thank you very much. It was helpful.